buy the dip. GM friends. GM friends. It's no secret that the NFT cryptoverse is filled with new terminology. Let's start with the one okay. backslash one. One of one art. Airdrop. One backslash one of X, X what? What did I say? Backsplash. What did I say? You said backsplash. Backsplash? I did not. Yes, you did. Your kitchen <laughs> has a backsplash. But an NFT. This has backslash. So one okay. backslash one of X specifies that this one unique NFT of a collection of X amount of NFTs. The best example of one backslash one of X is CryptoPunks, the OG 10K project launched in 2017 by Larva Lab. It's a collection of 10K NFTs generated by computer with each one unique in some way. One of one art. So that's the one dot of one art is a single NFT, a one of one from an artist. Generally, number one, a higher price because it's a single piece of art. There'll never be another one that looks like it. So that's one dot one art. Airdrop is when you send cryptocurrency or NFTs for free to different wallet addresses. An airdrop is a marketing strategy used to thank collection holders, generate attention from the media, and gain new followers. It's pretty important. For example, <laughs> thank you, Ed McMahon. For example, NFT collection Bored Ape Yacht Club. Huge airdropped a mutant serum to owners which allowed them to mint a free mutant ape they a mutated mutant, it a, a mutated nft serum number 69 just sold for 5.8 million dollars 5.8 million dollars for one mutant ape right that's insane ape in btd diamond hand ape in refers to people who rush into buying due to FOMO, which we're gonna get to. The term originated through a meme, apes together strong. It's better not to ape into a project without researching and understanding what you're buying. BTD refers to buy the dip or purchase an NFT as soon as the price drops or dips down from where it had been. It refers to a quick bargain because the NFT is likely to bounce back and increase in value over time after the short term correction. Diamond hands. This refers to someone who has high risk tolerance for high volatility assets. It originated in 2018 in a, in a subreddit called Wall Street Bets. It meant diamond hands don't panic and sell their assets regardless of an increase or decrease in value. There is also a negative definition of diamond hands, which refers to a stubborn investor who is not willing to let go of an asset despite its falling value. D-Y-O-R, FOMO. FUD, wag me. D-Y-O-R, Dior is short for do your own research. It's always a smart idea to do your own research before investing in any asset, Dior. It also sounds like the animal in, no, that's- Dior? That, in Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore, oh, sorry. <laughs> but this is D-Y-O-R. Yeah, yeah, no, not Eeyore. I got into this new NFT project because everyone else said it's good. Dior though. Do your own research. FOMO, short for fear of missing out. It's used to describe people who rush into buying an NFT without doing much due diligence. Knowledgeable investors avoid FOMO and Dior before investing in anything. FUD, FUD is short for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FUD is commonly seen when the price of a coin or NFT starts dropping or some negative news or rumors start circulating. People panic and sell their assets when they have FUD. F-U-D, don't let your emotions take over. You can make bad investment decisions based on emotions. Stay logical, stay cool, and don't have fun. Wag me, short for we all gonna make it. Sometimes shortened to GMI, gonna make it. It describes the future when all of our investments raise up for more lingo and to get the news, info and stories about NFTs and crypto, subscribe to our channel and take the NFT bootcamp. Links are in the description below this video. I'm Sherry Barbera. I'm Sal Barbera. This is Azumi and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao guys.